Well, I, I like Lost Kingdom Prophecy. Um, I spent a lot of time on Facebook, and I enjoy it. Um, I actually got one video through. This is kind of not that exciting, but it's it's my archive, and this is what I'm experiencing at the moment. Um. They had a video on a Soldier's Christmas. I heard that it's actually a narration from the First World War. Um, yeah, it always brings tears to my eyes, you know. Um, there have always been those who volunteered to do what they believe and it still it still comes down to that believe that they were serving greater power than themselves so I applaud that but since I'm not crying about it right now I'm going to point out that you know, well the revolutionary that made America were called terrorists because they messed with the system I think America's got a lot of education yet to happen. I think there's some of us who know well, and some of us just got busy being Java. That's Star Wars, Java the Hutt. Um, I can't point no fingers because you know I'm a ghost and I make sure nobody can find me. I don't look this way normally, and even if I did, somebody called me, Yo, mankind! You know, the rest of them. I was like, dude, I don't weigh as much as he does. God was like, but yeah, but you look a lot like him, but you lost some weight. Um, it's, it's a non-issue. Um, oh, man. Um, Humans have a thing about competition, and there's no problem with that. It's how you do it that is the problem. Even the Far East, they're not as creative as we are, but it's like a drug, you know? If I'm comfortable, who cares about anything else? But remember, I talked about the war with drugs too. And I skeletor told you. <clears throat> you let me in, man. I might never let go of you. And I still hate calling him this, but Chris Scum God said, Don't tell me what to do. And I said, Why would I? That's not my style. I will ask you to look at things and you make your own choice. There's a difference between what I do and what Satan does. I think people have always been big on the sex. Uh, it's, it's like a drug. It doesn't last long and eventually goes away and you try, some of the people do, to constantly get that high again. The only high that doesn't hurt you is when you actually find that. Um, you're different for everybody in the context of how he communicates with you. Because you can't hear them the way I do, and I can't hear them the way you do. But if you can make time in your day somehow, you can communicate with you. 
Don't expect nothing fast, except maybe a good feeling. I had lots of those, you know. I had, you know, like the wind blows through you. You know, I see something do it. Whoosh. A really good feeling is blew through. Like, yeah, well, that ain't natural. It had to be God. You know, I've been doing it about, uh, even if I was eight, you know, I'm saying I've been doing it all my life. Um. <clears throat> And you always got to worry while you're in the body. Life is animation. There is going to be problems. I talked about the abscess root. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing about it. I ain't doing it. I take antibiotics, but you know, I, I could be an idiot because it might not work. Especially for years. Um. But it don't hurt at the moment. Doesn't mean it ain't eating my skull up. Don't know that either. Um, if I didn't have the kind of upbringing I had, if I had a job that was considered valuable enough that it could cover all the expenses of things, then maybe I would be able to see that as... Um, it, it's nutrients and how they're distributed, and etc., etc. And I, I really do see light on the horizon about that stuff. But before the light, there has to be winter, which is going to suck. You know, I'm trying. It, we got literal winter coming. It's, it's first week of December. I went around the house yesterday. I put clothes up every place except in the windows that I want to seal up the upstairs. I, I got a really big house, but she's disabled, so we don't go up there in storage. I go up there when I need peace and quiet if she's having a bad day. And <clears throat> I think females do it more often, but whatever. In general, we get along very well. Um... Um, I've been trying to find a way to get the Jetta to know it's got the right keys. I know I just changed subjects, but it's all in line with things. The Jetta should never think that it doesn't have the right set of keys, because it does. That is a program that was set in place from the very beginning that eventually at hundred and some thousand miles the key won't work so you bring it back into the dealership nobody else can fix it so we can see how this car is doing they can never admit to that because that would be fraud unless of course they said we'll do it for free and pay for towing and get you a spare car because we really need to see it to see how it's doing you see, the back room's always trying to figure out how to get over on somebody and not tell the truth the whole way. You see, Daddy never did that to you. He always said, I am what I am. I didn't make it easy because, shit, I tried, Dad. What'd I end up with? Satan? I'd kick half of it out. I ain't doing that twice, I tell you what. So you all play. This is animation. Talked about that too. But just to make it worth doing, my life is not has. I, I got it better than I've ever had, but I still am uh, like a razor's edge away of falling off the cliff. There ain't no safety net. In, a, in <clears throat> most of the uh, working class anymore, they used to. Be. But uh, <clears throat> if I can ship your job over someplace else, I can make more money selling it to the others who still got somebody paying them well. And you don't matter. You know, they're, they're, it's funky because you know China and Japan actually 
built factories in America to bring the product closer to the consumer. And yet those who run our stuff are like, well, we can make more money by shipping it over there somewhere. <clears throat> now, I have problems with Japan society to an extent. I have problems with China society to an extent. I probably have problems with everybody's society to an extent. But <clears throat> capitalism has a very big tendency to want to crash. And then, uh, you know, then everything's fresh this spring and we grow back again. Uh, well, I, I do believe there's a way around that, but it's going to take another winter economically. And I don't know if I'm going to have anything to do with it, but uh, <clears throat> if this body survived long enough and if I actually have any angels to care about me, and I put out my best. We'll see. I won't fix what's fucked up. That's your problem. And I see him trying. <clears throat> uh, the guy who creates Facebook is going to throw $100 million in Newark, New Jersey. See if he can fix it. $100 million. That's a lot of money. To fix an educational system that probably doesn't want to be fixed. It's happy the way it is. But it's not good. And that's just one city. Um, yeah, there's a lot of angels doing a whole lot of things. And there's so much resistance because we like it the way it is. Why can't we continue doing this? Because it don't work. Inflation, in the terms of money, probably has its place, but it also kills. Um... Inflation in terms of population works until you do it too much. Uh, inflation in terms of education, teach them well and give them incentives. And Sounds awful hard now, doesn't it? I do have one success story. I'm sure there's others, but Daddy made me interested in the Mormons. They went through their own hell and managed to uh, build something. 